The original Super Mario Bros. game was released in 1985 and quickly became one of the most popular and iconic video games of all time. But what if we could experience it in a whole new way? Imagine being able to see the world of Mario through his eyes, in a first-person perspective. With this new perspective you are able to jump, run and collect coins and power-ups just like you would in the original game, but with a more immersive and exciting experience. This first-person perspective version of Super Mario Bros. was programmed in Python and the best part is that anyone can play directly from the browser, thanks to the Pickback library, which I made a video on this channel a while back. That's right, all you need is a browser and you can experience the world of Super Mario Bros. like never before. But for now, only the first level is available, along with the secret underground level. To make this game in first-person perspective, I used the technique that has become practically the theme of this channel, raycasting, which is a rendering method used to create 3D environments in 2D games. The game is still 2D, but it looks like 3D. The technique involves casting rays from the player's perspective and determining which objects and textures are visible on the screen. This allows the game to create a 3D illusion of depth and height, giving the player a more immersive and realistic experience. The use of ray casting in Super Mario Bros. for a first-person perspective helps create a seamless transition from the classic 2D versions to the more current 3D versions, making it an unique and exciting way to play. But how did I come up with this game with multi-level platforms? After all, in the previous games I created with raycasting, the maps were flat, where the player could not jump from one level to another. Sometimes in life, all you need is a change of perspective. And that's exactly what I have done here, by rotating the screen 90 degrees, instead of drawing columns of walls, horizontal strips are drawn. Now the walls are blocks that stack vertically, and the Y coordinate becomes the vertical direction. So we exchange the freedom to move sideways in a flat world, for the freedom to move up and down in a narrow slice, just like in Super Mario Bros. Of course, I had to implement a simple physics system with gravity to make the player, items and enemies fall and move in a similar way to the original game. The textures and sprites, I redesigned everything. I also recreated sounds, after all I don't want to be sued by Nintendo. This main theme music was made with Python 2 with a very simple audio synthesizer that I created a while ago here on the channel. The enemies and items that move around on the map are all 2D sprites, which change size according to the distance to the player. Since the point of view here is a little different, I had to imagine how they would look like when seen from the front and from the back. I didn't draw sprites to see them from above and below, because it would be a bit too much work. The map is composed of blocks and is simply stored in a list of lists. But to make editing the map easier, it is loaded from an image, where the different elements are color coded, each block with a single pixel, using the standard MS Paint palette. Even the starting position of enemies and power-ups are placed on the map this way, which blocks have hidden coins and so on. Sometimes when you are playing a game it is hard to realize how much work it took to get that result. After all, you often get through the stage in a few minutes, or even seconds. But programming this version of Super Mario Bros. made me realize a lot of details I have never appreciated before. From the game mechanics, the interactions of Mario with the different elements, how each element behaves and so on. I'm releasing the source of this game that I created, not well organized, but I think it's not hard to understand. I'm open to suggestions for improvement. But there is also a challenge for you, create a map for the game, using the same elements present in the first level. 
The best maps I can include in the official version with credits to the creators and present them in a new video along with updates. So there you have it, the classic Super Mario Bros game in first person perspective, programmed in Python and available for anyone to play directly in their browser. Try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.